Hi, I am here to teach you how to style a tray. Now I'm working with a 24 by 24 inch tray. This is our sting tray, comes in lots of colors. We're talking a really large tray. Most of them are like small rectangle ones. So you can do half this if you have a smaller tray, but I'm gonna show you how to do a square one that's really large. First up, I'm gonna do something that's living. So a beautiful floral arrangement. Mine happens to be faux, but looks very real. You could also do a house plant here. Anything organic, living or not, you just wanna loosen up the lines so that not everything in this tray is a square and a grid. So I'm just gonna put that in the furthest corner. I'm gonna kind of style the tray so that it looks good toward you, but also every angle. Next up, I'm gonna put this beautiful penny dot box. I like to hide remotes and other things that I don't really wanna see piles of on my cocktail table. You can use a box of any size. I'm using a small one because we just have the little Apple TV remote. Next up, we wanna always add scent to our room. So I'm using the large candle dish um, made out of crystal. I'm gonna be using the largest candle that we offer, which is this Valespa Macassar Ebony Peach Candle. I really like the way it looks and I love how it smells. And I like to face the label out so when people approach the room, it doesn't look like it's upside down. Last thing to styling the tray is adding something that's really interesting to you. So I love cocktail table books more than I like little novels. And the most important thing is you wanna make sure your spines look good together and that they look to good together when stacked. So I'm gonna place these in vertically because the void left over is vertical. And then I just kind of adjust from there. And that is how I like to style a tray.